So we've got our indicator made from our red cabbage. Um, and the first thing we want to do is test this and make sure it actually works. So I've got two little cups um, with about a tablespoon of indicator and I diluted it with, um, I don't know, I mean a quarter cup of water. And in the first cup, I'm going to take something that I know is an acid and I'm going to dump a little bit of this white wine vinegar into my first indicator cup. And what is going to happen? It should turn pink if this solution is really acidic. All right, so it does. So that works for an acid, a really strong acid like vinegar. Let's see if it works for a base. All right, so now I need to set up my indicator solutions for the experiment. And I'm gonna take one tablespoon of indicator in each of my five glasses. And I'm gonna dilute that with half a cup of water. for experimenting. I'm going to take one of my straws and I'm going to start with my before exercise cup. I haven't done anything all that hard today and I'm just going to breathe normally through my cool bamboo straw into this before exercise cup. Do we see much of a color change? Nah, not really. So I'll note that down. All right, and now we got to go outside. All right, it's time for round two. Um, now this one, I'm going to breathe through my straw right after I get done with my workout. for five minutes. I'm gonna start back on my five minutes after exercise when we get to 2.25. But right now, look at this. The one right after exercise, this is like a nice, what would you say, red cabbage color. So we'll write down exercise. All right. Has it changed? Looks like it might even be somewhere between these two, would you say? All right. I'm going to note down the color and I'll be back in another five. All right, now we're 10 minutes after exercise. Let's see if anything's changed. Definitely looks different than this one. I don't think I'm really breathing all that hard anymore. It might be back to about where we were at the beginning. What do you think? How does this experiment even work? Well, you might have looked like this after your run, but what that really meant was that you were breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a product of cellular respiration. So if we could measure that carbon dioxide you breathe out, then we could measure how much cellular respiration is happening. But how? Well, carbon dioxide combines with water chemically to make something called carbonic acid. And that's a chemical reaction. 
And that is something that we can measure because this is an acid. Now there's these things called chemical indicators. Phenolphthalein is one and they change color depending on whether the solution is acidic or basic or alkaline. Since we're making an acid, carbonic acid, then we'll expect the solution to be clear as we breathe carbon dioxide into the water. But if we could add a base to neutralize this solution, bringing it towards a pH of seven or even further, then we'll see our solution start to turn pink. Now the at home version, which is even more fun in my opinion, involves a red cabbage, which when we boil that, so that cabbage in water, we can make our own indicator that has a range of colors depending on whether it's acidic or whether it's basic. Now we can test our indicator, making sure that it works by adding an acid that we're sure is acidic, that's vinegar perhaps, and this solution should turn pinker. We could also add a base like baking soda and make sure that our solution starts to turn green or, or even yellow. So when you do your lab and you're breathing CO2 into the water to make carbonic acid, if this works, our solution should be turning pink and even more pink the more CO2 you're breathing out, like after exercise. <laughs>